Greetings in the wonderful name of Jesus, brothers and sisters. It is Wednesday the 4th of May. It is 3 p.m. And I've got a message for you. Uh, today's theme is Revelation 12 and the woman. I'll start with this. And there appeared a great wonder in heaven, a woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, and upon her head a crown of twelve stars. And she cried, and she being with child cried, travailing in birth, and pain to be delivered. Verse 5. And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with a rod of iron, and a child was caught up unto God and to his throne. This reference is to Jesus. And the woman fled into the wilderness where she had a place prepared of God that they should feed her there a thousand two hundred and sixty days. And there was a war in heaven. Michael and his angels fought against the dragon and the dragon fought and his angels. Now what is happening here is that the woman is, a ref is, is the reference of the woman is the church of the blood, the church of the body of Christ. And this church will be taken into, and the, the reference is the, the remnant, is uh, the uh, scattered tri the 12 scattered tribes of Israel. And uh, it says here that this woman will go into a place of safety. The church will go into a place of safety where, you, where there is wars outside. We will be taken to a place. Waiting for the coming. Now you will know, you will remember in 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 Exodus, the in Moses Exodus he was taken into the wilderness, and many miracles happened. The Lord fed them, manna from heaven, food from heaven came down upon them. Last night's vision that I had was that food was delivered to us, supernaturally. They were wonderful, there was nice cakes, there were tarts, there were everything that our hearts desire. It was laid at doorsteps. Um, I found it very strange because it was all my favorite things were put in there and I wanted to pay for them. But I couldn't find a menu. It was very, very odd because I couldn't find the price. I took out my money, but I couldn't find a price for them and I went looking and I, I didn't want to eat it. It's like this. Um, I didn't want to eat it. But I packed out into a plate out of all the nice goodies and I looked for menu prices and I just could not find them. And I, I just felt odd. I can't just take these things without paying for them. But this is what I, this is the message that Jesus paid this price for us. It took me a while to to, uh, I came out of this vision and I was laying there thinking, now, why didn't I eat? It's because of the, the you know, the morals and the immorality. You, I cannot just take it. But then it dawned on me that Jesus paid this price. He paid that price for the food already. That this belongs to him. The prince of this world was, the power was taken from the prince of this world. We had to pay a price. Jesus paid that price for us. Let's go forward. Um, verse 11. Yeah, now uh, Michael is fighting the dragon. Verse 11. And they overcame, the angels overcame him by the power of the blood. That blood that has been paid and sacrificed and we can live freely. And we can eat the abundance of the word of God and also eat to sustain our bodies and by the word of their testimony. And they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of their testimony. And they loved not their lives unto death. Verse 14. Here we go. And to the woman, the church, to the church were given two wings of a great eagle. Here we are being taken. Now, if you remember that vision that I had about us waiting this is what it ties in, in with. The wings of a great eagle. These are angels that's coming to collect us. We were at the, uh, we, what I saw is we were at the waiting place 
watching the coming destruction, getting very, very close. But the, the, the prayers of the saints are protecting us. The angels are protecting us. They will give charge over us. The Lord has given them charge over us. Each and every one of us. And to the woman, to the church were given two wings of a great eagle. That she might fly into the wilderness. Like Moses took the Israelites, led the Israelites into the wilderness. Across the sea. That she might fly into the wilderness, into her place. Where she is nourished for a time and times and a half a time from the face of the serpent. This, the prophets are referencing the second exodus. That this is what the reference is. The second exodus. Moses and the Israelites were the first exodus out of Egypt. Now we will be taken, the church will be taken to a place of safety when all mayhem will break loose upon the earth. Verse 15, and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman, that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. Now, on the, in the media I saw now the last day, uh, uh, yesterday I went into my uh, prayer closet, I just stayed with the Lord, because that's how he wanted me, he didn't want me to deliver any message. But he wanted me to, to stay with him. He wanted me to come to him. It says here that, uh, I don't know if you, if you have seen, I, I want you to stay out of the media because it just causes fear upon you. But um, the Bay Country has threatened Israel. Armageddon is drawing ever, ever nearer. Bible prophecies are being fulfilled on television right now. He's threatened uh, the great, the, the mystery Babylon by saying, uh, and the, the, um, the queen's country, he's threatened them that he's got wep he's got weapons that can be released in the water and cause tsunamis and cover the, and drown the entire, um, island with his great might and weaponry and sorcery and it will be rendered uh, and with it comes radioactivity that's what i saw and i immediately I, I i i my eyes and my spirit led me to this verse and it says and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood after the woman that he might cause her to be carried away of the flood now the serpent that he's talking about Isaiah, remember the triangle warfare, the triangle of warfare, the Leviathan. Isaiah 27, in that day the Lord will with his sore and great and strong sword shall punish Leviathan, the piercing serpent, even Leviathan, the crooked serpent, and he shall slay the dragon that is in the sea. Now listen, and the serpent cast out of his mouth water as a flood, after the woman who is the church. That he might cause her to be carried away of the flood. And the earth helped the woman. And the earth opened her mouth. And swallowed up the flood. Which the dragon caused out of his mouth. And the dragon was wroth with the woman. And went to make war with the remnant of the seed. These are the twelve scattered tribes of Israel. Which keep the, the remnant of a seed, which keep the commandments of God and have testimony of Jesus Christ. And that is the church, brothers and sisters. We are in the coming days. We are in the last days. We are in the days of Noah. I implore you to go, go check out the, the, the videos. Watch the videos on the days of Noah and what is to come because all the clues are in there. What? Because we are just like those days that's happening now. The Bible, verse, uh, Bible verses are written in spirit and it's happening over and over and over. It's not for an allocated time and it's not in the past. It is now and it is in the future as well. Even though it was written and happened before. I implore you, get into the book of Noah and see what happened in Genesis, what really happened. I laid, I laid clues. 